welcome back kwa wale wote ambao mna soma kama private candidate na mnataka kufanya mtihani wa nectar na um, katika video hii ninaelezea some basics yani kwa yule ambaye haujawahi kanyaga kabisa advance haujawahi kanyaga kabisa advance and you don't know anything regarding advanced level sasa nataka kuongea vitu basics ambavyo vitakusaidia kuweza kujua advanced level ipoje yani you are playing haujui kabisa lakini video hii inaweza kumfaa kabisa hata mwanafunzi ambaye amaliza form 4 na anatarajia kwenda advance muda wote so hajui chochote kuhusu advanced level video hii inaweza kumsaidia kumpa picture advanced level ipoje sasa kwanza kabisa kwa wewe ambaye either ni uko mmaliza form 4 au ni private candidate ni kwamba advanced level ni level ambayo kidogo ina vitu vingi it's, it's a bit of a, of things kidogo viko vingi ukilinganisha na o level so kwa wanafunzi ambao huwa wanatoka o level huwa wanafananisha sana o level pamoja na advance unaona wanafananisha sana wakijua kama advance iko kama o level lakini advanced level things they are very quite different ukilinganisha na ordinary level na tujaribu kuongea hapa sio kukutishia na jaribu kukupa picture ili uweze kujua kwamba advanced level ni level ya aina gani bado pamoja na kuambia kwamba vitu kidogo viko vingi lakini performance kama ya mimi still ilikuwa iko high you see na a ya biology na a ya chemistry na b ya physics and still kama b ya physics najua tu nilipata kwa sababu ya practicals in our school tulikuwa tuko wengi so tukafanya tu a na tu b na mazingira tu uko nafanyia practical ni mbea practical kama heat unaona unafanya practical kama ya heat na ku temperature fall mazingira yenye baridi eh? according to newton's law ile change in temperature inakuwa very fast and hatimaye unaweza kupata in correct data katika practicals unaona lakini sijitetei na jaribu kukuonyesha kwamba eh, hata kama kuna vitu vingi lakini still you might have simplicity unaona unaweza kawa una, una simplicity na uka perform vizuri in several of my videos nimeshawahi kuelezea how to perform well in advanced level lakini bado najaribu kuona kwa sababu still tuna record hizo video lakini bado performance ya watu ni ndogo unaona mimi sio motivational speaker i am talking the reality ambayo nimeishi unaona i am not a motivational speaker ni kweli kuna watu wanaondoka advanced level wanaenda chuoni unaona wanaondoka advanced level wanaenda chuoni wakiamini okay, kwamba chuoni ndio kuko simple lakini ukifika kwa mfano sasa hivi ukifika chuoni lazima utafanya mtihani wa nectar kama wanaofanya form 6 hata kama utalazimika upate D ili uende kuendelea na advanced diploma yako. Unaona? Lakini bado utafanya mtihani ule ule. Kwa hiyo sio kwamba ukifika chuo ndo moja kwa moja utakuwa umeescape. Hapana. Mwenye na wanafunzi wengine ambao wanasoma advanced diploma na walikuja kusoma topics za advanced kwangu na niliwafundisha sawa na ninavyowafundisha wanafunzi wa advanced. Unaona? Kilicho tofauti ni kwamba mwanafunzi wa advanced anatakiwa na performance kubwa, yani angalau A B C wakati yeye hata akiwa tu na E au S anaweza ka proceed na masomo yake. Unaona? Sasa ninachojaribu kuongea hapa ni nini? Ni kwamba advanced level ipoje. Advanced level ina vitu vingi lakini unaweza ukavimaintain, ukavifix. Unaona? Ukavimaintain, ukavifix na hatimaye ukaweza kufaulu vizuri kabisa katika masomo yako ya advanced level. Kwa hiyo kwanza lazima uone unajua advanced level ina vitu vingi kuanzia biology, chemistry, physics na vitu vingi. Bam it's just like a basic mathematics ya o level. Na GS hauna utofauti sana na civics, unaona? So bam na GS hizo sio za kustress. Unaona lakini biology, chemistry na physics ndio vitu ambavyo uh, kidogo vina vitu ambavyo kidogo vina vina hitaji uwe na energy uwe na msuri ili uweze kuvi kuvi tako vizuri. Sasa na najaribu na kuongelea kitu gani hapa? Najaribu kuongelea kitu gani? Ninachojaribu kuongelea hapa ni kwamba katika advanced level kwanza advanced level kuna topic ambazo zinaitwa ni za paper 1 na kuna topic za paper 2. Acha na paper 3 sasa. Paper 3 ni practical. Kuna paper 1 na paper 2. Paper 1 huwa ni paper ambayo kidogo huwa ni ngumu kwa sababu ina maswali mengi 
na kila swali kwenye paper 1 unakuta lina maksi kumi kule mwisho ndo maksi 15 lakini paper 2 swali moja na maksi shilini. kwa paper 2 huwa ni paper ambayo tunachukulia max paper 2 ndo paper ambayo tunachukulia max paper 1 ni paper ambayo tunakuwa tunapambana tupate max prime nzuri lakini paper 2 ndio tunachukulia max kila isi paper 3 ndio paper ambayo ukichukua max nyingi unaweza kufaulu vizuri zaidi so paper 3 ni practical ambayo ni very simplified kama ilivyo toka o level unaona hiyo ni kwanza wewe unajua advance ina paper tatu. lakini pili ambacho kitu ambacho natakiwa kujua ni kwamba advance nimekwambia ina vitu vingi lakini unaweza ukavimaintain vizuri kwa kwa mfano advanced biology form 5 kuna topic almost like 7 unaona form 5 kuna cytology ambayo unasoma cell kuna biochemistry biochemistry kwenye syllabus sio topic lakini biochemistry kwa Tanzania always no fundisha cytology huo unaifundisha peke yake na biochemistry peke yake so kuna cytology kuna biochemistry unaona cytology biochemistry kutoka biochemistry kinachofuatia nini inafuatia topic ya eh, principles of classification ambao hapo tunasoma basics of classification pamoja na dichotomy ski after kwa hapo inafuata comparative groups and the study of comparative groups of living organisms hapo tunasoma makundi mbalimbali ya organism yani kingdom zile tunasoma hiyo form 5 tukitoka hapo tunaenda kwenye topic ya nutrition toka hapo kuna coordination na kuna homeostasis and excretion so you can count cytology unaona principles of classification comparative nutrition coordination excretion there are like 6 7 unaona hiyo ni form 5 lakini form 6 kuna eh, kuna transportation kuna genetics kuna transportation kuna genetics kuna reproduction kuna ecology na topic nyingine hapo growth unaona so form 6 topic ziko kama tano tu transport alafu reproduction ecology growth na genetics unaona bwana sasa kiufupi ni kwamba katika hizo topic kama za form 5 topic za form 5 zote ya paper 2 ni comparative study ambayo ni classification unaosoma group zote pamoja na excretion hizo ni topic za paper 2 kwa form 5 lakini topic za paper 2 kwa form 6 ndio nyingi kuanzia growth genetics ni ya paper 2 growth paper 2 genetics paper 2 alafu uh, ya growth genetics paper 2 ecology paper 2 na evolution ni lisao paper 2 evolution na ni paper 2 lakini reproduction pamoja na transport hizo ni paper 1 ziko form 6 lakini paper 1 sasa kwenye chemistry pia tuna topic ambazo chemistry actually tuna divide kwenda kwenye group kwenye makundi manne topic nne kubwa chemistry unaona uh, chemistry tuna general chemistry halafu tuna physical chemistry tuna organic na inorganic chemistry hasa inategemea na mwalimu wenu ambao atataka general chemistry lazima ianze kwa sababu general chemistry inatupa msingi wa kusoma other branches of chemistry toka hapo physical chemistry unaona kama shule na walimu wengi mara nyingi huwa physical chemistry wanagawana huyu anachukua subtopic hii anachukua subtopic hii unaona subtopic kama chemical equilibrium na chemical kinetics ni za form 6 lakini walimu mara nyingi wao wana wanafanyaje wanazifundisha zile subtopic form 5 chemical equilibrium 